Hi hey guys, so welcome back to another video. And then if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and click that notification bell. And then watch up until the end so that you can get like a free signal, a free live signal where I'll be analyzing with you guys and giving out the signal. So I'm gonna be showing you all the trades that we took and how they went. So the first trade that we took is Euro GBP, of which on the daily you can see that we have like a trend line like this showing us that the market is going to the upside and then you can see that with your lower lows and your higher highs as you can see here so we had like a lower low and then we expect a higher high up until maybe this area around there so that is why we took like selling opportunities and then going to a lower time frame of which is the four hour we had some type of a descending channel around this area here and then we had like a break and a retest and then around the same area where we got like a retest you can see that we had like a sensitive area as you can see it has been touched uh, for the longest and then we had like a descending within a descending a push up a retest and then we got those buys uh, so we are still in these uh, buy opportunities currently and then let me just put this to the side and then on the hour chart that is where we executed our trade and then we executed with this uh candlestick formation around here and then we just took the trade up until this is our first take profit right around this area and then this is our second take profit of let me just check uh the first take profit is about 6.6% and then the second target is about 11.7%. So on the second trade that we took, it's USD CHF. And then we normally start like on the highest time frame when we analyze our markets. So as you can see here, we have like an overall ascending channel around this area here. And then at the top of the structure, that is where you get like all the information. Let me just try and zoom on. That is where you get like all the information. So we have like... Uh, a sensitive area here or a mass psychology area and then we had like this double top area here and then an override here on the daily chart of which is an engulfing candlestick pattern and then it gave us like a confirmation that we are looking for selling opportunities and then another confirmation is this ascending channel here at the top that gave us like another confirmation and then you can see like the momentum of this pair is very very impulsive so going to a lower time frame we had like some type of an ascending channel then i decided not to cater for it just because i know the overall direction so i'll just uh play around with it and then this was like my uh, thought process just because like i just like to forecast everything just before i take uh, any type of trade and then on the hour chart that is where you took we took like this entry and then like i said i still apply everything uh, in the markets i apply everything that i know as long as it's price action, I apply it. So as you can see here, we also have like a tight flag around here in a form of a retest. So we took it around here after this uh, engulfing candlestick close around here. After this engulfing candlestick close, we took it around here. And then we were anticipating like two uh, take profits on this one also. And then we're currently around 0.63%. Uh, and then we were at 1.2 at some point. And then our first take profit is about 2%. Second take profit is about 5%. And then we're anticipating like to reach like the 90% rule. And then we're still also in this trade around here. And then looking at GBP AUD, this was a difficult one for us just because we had like a lot of things going on on this one. And then I removed the analysis. But the reason I removed the analysis was because well, Brian in the group. So the reason uh, I had like uh, difficulties with this one was because I didn't like catch like everything that I wanted to catch on this one. We had like a push up as you can see here, a clear push up, and then that was in the what that was indicating that uh, the market will push to the upside. Let me just change the color on this one. So as you can see here, we had like a push to the upside. And then this push to the upside gave us like a confirmation that we have pushing to the upside. And then we have this uh, higher low here. And then we had the higher high. 
and then we created a higher low around here and then i was expecting that uh, the market will give us like some type of a impulse up corrective move and then another impulse up to create to break this higher high here and then create a new high here so that did not happen and then the reason that didn't happen was because i was focusing like on this area around here like this forgetting like the overall move like this and then forgetting like the overall move of which it was reaching like this high here and then create the double top and then push back to the downside so i didn't get like the, that information at that moment and then i was focusing on this one here and then we get like push up and we can still get those uh, type of movements let me just put back uh, the analysis that i had and then let me cater for the low around there just because the market tends to reach to that uh low low point and then let me just put it clearly and then on the four hour chart that is where you'll see everything clearly on the four hour that is where we had like some type of an entry so let me just do this and then go to a hour chart and see what we have on the hour so on the hour chart we had like this type of a descending channel supported by the higher time frame structure and the trend line that is supported uh, that is supporting like everything uh based on the higher time frame and then we had like some type of a retest area around here and then that is where we like we took our buys to reach like this area then we can look for selling opportunities but as you can see here the market is correcting i don't know if we get like the last push to the upside to reach this area and then this would be like an impulse corrective move and then an impulse up so we hit like stop loss on this one so we are still we are running nicely on euro gbp and then we hit stop loss on uh gbp aud and then uh let me just check usdchf is still running at uh some small profits but i think it will gain momentum uh with the cpi news tomorrow but i think today just because it's already 12 so yeah today maybe cpi will give it like a boost and then the last trade that we took for this week was this one here and then let's move to the daily and then on the daily you can see same scenario let me just close this one same scenario as the other ones we have like a triple top around here i was expecting a triple top and then this would be like an impulse corrective move and then an impulse up to reach the triple top area and then push back to the downside so that didn't happen that didn't happen just because the market is very very correcting at the moment let's switch to the four hour and see what we have on the four hour chart so on the four hour chart uh that is where you find like the overall structures uh they are still intact as you can see here and then we have like a some type of a w pattern as you can see here but it's very corrective i think this this movement was sideways i was just forcing things here to be honest with you guys and then uh most of the guys in the vip group they didn't take like any loss on this one i don't think they took any loss just because uh, i thought everyone had to manage like their trades and then i don't think oh sorry about the squabbles guys sorry about the squabbles something here is blocking my this recording tool that i'm using is blocking my my tools that i that i use most of the time to remove these things now uh, quickly so we took the trade around here as you can see a break and then a corrective move as an expanding pattern and then we took it to the upside and then it reached like the first touch second touch and then after the third touch it reacted and then it pushed back to the downside so that's where we are at at the moment so i don't know if uh oh so at some point it was at about uh plus minus two percent and then it retraced back to the downside so uh what i think i would, should have done differently on these on these like trades uh was like uh taking my time and figuring out like the information that was given to me just because there was nothing wrong with the markets there was nothing wrong with the price action only me 
trying to interpret like things that are not there in the markets. So this is the pair that uh, I'm currently looking at at the moment just to see where it goes even though I removed like everything but I'll put them back let me just do this let me just let me just do this so let me just put those things back okay fine so I put them back so I'm currently looking at this trade just to see if it'll give me like those moves that I want and then the signal that I promised you guys is on NZD JPY. So let's start on the daily chat. So on the daily, you can just squeeze out the price action as you can see here. And then we have like an overall push to the upside or an uptrend. And then you can see that by uh, just using like uh, this direction tool around here. And then you have like, uh, you have like too many like, uh, structures around here so i'm not going to focus like on those structures i'm just going to focus like on the obvious ones you have a higher high higher low 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 higher high. this is not a higher high just because it didn't break this one then this is these are equal highs as you can see here so yeah i think we'll reach like this area here and then on that same area, you can see that we have like a triple top trying to form up at the stage. And then on that triple top, I think uh, we may get like some selling opportunities around there. So that is the trade that I'm giving you guys. So let's switch to the four hour. And then on the four hour chart, you can see that we have like an ascending channel approaching that same value area that we are looking at currently and then you can just leave like this high here you can just leave it and then just focus on this one here or if you want to be granular with all those analysis if you don't want like a uh, messy analysis you can just do this focus on this high here focus on this low here and then we'd have like some type of an expanding pattern formed up around here like this i can't put it like this i decided to put it like this in a more nicer way and then as you can see here we have like that double top area that we are looking for so the market can just push to the upside up until this area get a push down and then a tight flag and then we push to the downside and then that tight flag can come in a form of a retest and then a push to the downside and then that retest will be and inverse head and shoulders, the head and shoulders to be precise, and then you get like those cells. And then let's switch to a lower time frame so that we can uh, proceed with our analysis. And then on the four hour chart, you can just cater for the current market structure of which is this one, but I think we can just use the overall ascending channel just because it has like information that we can use and then the information is the same one that you see on the daily guys a uptrend and then on that uptrend as long as we break the trend then we can look for the 90 percent rule as our overall target and then this would be like this uh value area that we can use and that is where normally you get like your tight flags around this area trying to retest the same area and then you get like a head and shoulders and then you take your sauce so yeah that's ends the djpy and then let's uh, move to a power chart and then just try to refine the entry and then we are done with this video guys so let me just do this so this i wouldn't consider this as a break of structure or a breakout just because it's corrective the market is very corrective pointing to the downside and then that speaks volumes for me and then what i'll just wait for is for the market to clearly push to the upside get people caught in the wrong side and then push back to the downside and then we get some type of a retest around the same area of which is this one here and then after coming back to retest that's when i'll be looking for a cell and then in that cell 
I have to manage the cell and see if we get like some type of a tight flag. Then it's confirmed I can look for a scaling just because I took the first entry at the top and then I can take like uh, the second entry on the break. Then guys, yeah, that is it for today's video and I'll see you on another one. Peace out.